Uh, Illinois at Nebraska. Nebraska, a seven and a half point home dog. Total sits at 50. It's 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on ABC. Illinois is five and two against the spread in their last seven against Nebraska. Of course, everybody remembers the week zero game last year uh, that did not go well for Scott Frost and company. Uh, Illinois five and one against the spread in their last six on the road. They are eight and two against the spread in their last 10 overall. And they are five and two against the spread in their last seven against Big Ten competition. Brett Bielema has figured this thing out very, very quickly in Champaign. Nebraska, 1-5 and five against the spread at home against winning teams. That's certainly not good. They are 2-6 and six against the spread in their last eight overall. Yeah, it's, it's not been great for Mickey Joseph and company, right? Uh, let's look at the actual numbers here. Illinois' defense is awesome. I mean, they are number two in defensive PPA per drive. I mean, it is, it's really, really good. So, number two in defensive success rate. Uh, it seemed to be better against the rush than they are against the pass. I wonder if that's something that Casey Thompson might be able to take advantage of a little bit, right? Looking at this Nebraska team, number 23 in PPA per pass, but they're number 111 in passing success rate. So, not, not overly great. Um, they can be a little bit explosive. I don't think you're going to be able to do that much against this defense. Uh, Syracuse, number 10 in PPA per pass. On defense, number 13 PPA per rush. You start looking at, you know, points per scoring opportunity. Illinois is number three in that spot. Uh, Ryan Walters' defense is just awesome. And I think it's going to be a fascinating coaching matchup between Mark Whipple and he because this 3-3-5, you know, they're, they're going to drop a lot of guys frequently is Syracuse. And I, I think that there are holes in that defense that maybe they'll be able to find out. Um, looking over at the offense, Illinois' offense – Really good passing the ball, surprisingly. They only do it 45% of the time, but they're number 37 in PPA per pass. They're number 20 in passing success rate. Not explosive at all, so that's something to pay attention to. They they just methodically drive the ball down the field. As far as standard downs uh, success rate, number 71 for Illinois. The Nebraska defense is terrible, number 117. So they can't keep anybody behind the chains at all. Um, but even when they do, or when they actually do move them behind the chains, Nebraska's defense is number two in passing down to PPA and number seven in passing down success rate. So they they can actually find a way to stay in this ball game. My number on this uh, is surprised even me. I've got Illinois by four point two three here. I think I think the seven in the hook might be a little much, especially with Nebraska playing at home. I know that Illinois has looked really really good, but. I I think this could be a little bit closer than people think. Um, you know, and maybe it's penalties. Maybe it's uh, whatever else. Illinois is number 28 in turnover margin, but they're number 81 in giveaways per game. They give the ball away 1.7 times a game. They just happen to take it back 2.3 times a game. So that's something to pay attention to uh, in this matchup because Nebraska, number 94 in giveaways per game. Uh, penalties per game? Uh, Nebraska is actually a little bit better, number 84 compared to Illinois, number 105. I think I'm going to ride with Nebraska on this. Nebraska plus 7.5 is the way that I would lean, um, not one that I will really be looking to bet. Of course, remember, all of my official plays are on the Bet U.S. College Football Show. But uh, but the way I would lean here would be Nebraska. I, I think this team is actually fighting for Mickey Joseph. I think, uh, I think in this spot they can keep it close, most certainly. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.